everyone, so uh, first things first, I don't know if you noticed, but I uh, got an HD camera, so I can watch this much. Can zoom you in, like so. Can zoom out. It's pretty fancy. So uh, I hope that, you know, you enjoy my videos more because of that. Also, I just want to say thank you to everybody who left wonderful comments on my last video um, for Bombaholic TV's uh, Devil's Night Contest. I really did appreciate everything you said, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. I've just had minimal time, but thank you so much. I did read all of them, and each one just, you know, it was so great to see such support, so thank you so much. Um, I'm a little sick, so just bear with me, but today I'm going to do a look uh, that I have been wearing pretty much every day. I tend to go really, really um, heavy um, in terms of makeup, uh, like in the fall and in the winter, just because I feel like you can get away with it, and makeup isn't sweating off your face, so it's just more comfortable to wear a lot of makeup. And it's also a great time of year where you can just play around with different colors because there are so many color options, like golds and bronzes and reds and plums, so I really have fun with makeup in the fall. So. Um, something that I've really gotten into though is kind of like a vampire look, so really dark lip, really dark eyebrows, and then like a dark eye. So I recently got some things in a swap from Makeup Alley, and um, they are things that uh, were inspired by Morgan because I watched her, I don't know, I forget which one it was, but she showed a particular lipstick and a particular eyeshadow that I just fell in love with instantly. So. Yes, she is um, the culprit of my long list of wish list items. So, I'm going to go ahead and start. And to save time, I already applied my foundation, which is Narsha Glow, and um, the color is Siberia. And then I went ahead and applied um, Studio Finish Concealer in NW15. Yes, I have lost a shade. It's pretty sad. But I do love going really, really pale in the fall and winter. I don't know why. So I'm going to go ahead and apply Painterly Paint Pot all over the lid. I'm sure you all know what this looks like, so... So I'm going to apply my base and then I'm going to do one eye and show you how to do the other one just to save time. I am going to go ahead and go in with Brulee, which is a uh, cream colored base. And the reason I put this on is because it adheres to um, the paint pot and then any um, subsequent shadow that you put over on top of that, it's much easier to blend because of the loose powder. So, I'm just going to put that all over. Okay, and then before I get this brush any dirtier, I'm going to go ahead and go in with my highlight, which is Mylar. Just put that underneath the brow, and I filled in my brows already with um, cork eyeshadow. Okay, so getting down to the main color. The main color is... Mulch. Mulch Eyeshadow by MAC, and uh, I don't know if that focused, but I'm still working out the technicalities. And this eyeshadow is something that Morgan wears all the time, and it is so beautiful. Um, I don't know what I did without it, because I used to use um, Patina, and as you can see, Patina is a little cooler than Mulch, and I just didn't feel like it flattered my skin tone too well, so Mulch is a warmer color, and it is just beautiful. And I'm going to go ahead and take a flat shader brush again and just pack it onto the lid, starting off at the base of the lid near the lashes. And then just working it up. And I don't go um, above the crease, otherwise, it just overpowers your eyes. And I do like to have. Um, a balance between uh, dark lipstick and dark eyeshadow because there is um, there is a fine line. So I feel as long as you balance your makeup, you can wear um, really dramatic makeup on both lips and eyes. Okay, now that that has been patted, I'm going to go ahead and take a 217 and just with a little bit of brulee. I'm just going to start blending that. And this is where you blend it out and then add a bit more, so you're kind of building the color. Okay, 
and then I'm just going to slightly bring it out to the side. Okay, and then on a little tiny angle brush, this is, what is this, the 266, I'm going to go ahead and take Carbon, or Matte Black, and just run, run that um, along my top lash line. And I'm going to bring it all the way in. And then whatever is left on that brush, I'm just going to bring that underneath. And then I'm going to take a 239 and just smudge that to avoid it being too perfect. Just on a 224, I'm going to take a little bit more concealer and just kind of clean up underneath the eye if there was any fallout. Okay, so to finish the face, I'm going to go ahead and apply a slight contour and I'm going to use Harmony blusher um, on a on a 138 or just a large tapered brush and just do a slight bit of contouring contouring for the daytime I'm crazy I'm just gonna get this through the back of the cheekbone and then buffing that out with a kabuki so it's not too harsh okay and then for blush I'm gonna go ahead and use Deep Throat by NARS I was planning on using Luster, but I don't want to bore you to death with yet another Luster mentioning. So, which by the way, I'm so glad you like that, Morgan, because I was just so worried you weren't going to like it, and then you would be out to get me for wasting your money, but I'm really glad you, you like it. So, I'm going to take a little bit of that on a 109, and just get the apples in my cheeks. Okay, so now for the fun part, uh, the lipstick I'm going to be using is Amorous, which is um, a satin and inspired by Morgan, and I always end up mentioning you like 12 times in every video I do, but that's okay, you deserve it, because when I saw this on your lips in the um, Things I Regret Buying video, I think it was, I just was like, need. So I swapped for it on Makeup Alley, and I don't think they used it, because I used it yesterday, but it still has the point on it, which is, which is good you know, used makeup sometimes can be a little grody. Uh, so, such a beautiful lipstick. It has instantaneously replaced um, Creme, in, Creme in Your Coffee as my favorite because Creme in Your Coffee, this, I'm going to sound insane, is a little bit too light for me and I really like, obviously, dark lipsticks. This so. is more of like an inappropriate and acceptable day color and it's also dark, which you know, it's just a bonus. So, I'm going to line my lips with Papua Lip Liner by NARS. I don't think any of this is focusing. I'm sorry about that. I'll sort it out. And, yeah, just go ahead and line your lips. Okay, and then going in with Amorous. I don't use a lip brush normally for dark lipsticks. Like, I wear them so often that I've kind of trained myself out of having to use a lip brush. So, straight from the bullet. Okay, just let my hair down out of that snooky hairdo. I'm going to go ahead and switch up the lighting and maybe the camera position just so you can see the makeup truer to what it looks like because I noticed in my last video um, the makeup that I wore for my, my costume looked so much different than it did in real life so I'm going to switch things up and see if I can get it to look how it actually looks so give me a second. Okay, so sorry we're in my bathroom but there's a lot of sunshine coming out or coming through the window so... This is what it looks like, um, more true to color. Eyes, lips, skin tone, very pale. So, just thought I'd show you that snippet. Okay, so I figured that since I'm already like up and ready to go, I'm actually worked in, awake during the day. Um, I can't speak today. I'm awake during the day, so I thought I'd just go ahead and do um, an outfit of the day. So, I have this uh, salmon, I don't know. It's like a deserty pink color. It's like a salmon color, I suppose. A uh, chiffon dress. And then I have on my brown leather jacket. Because I like these this color together, these colors together. And then I just have black tights because it's freezing here. And then just little black flats. So yeah, that's my vampire makeup tutorial. Um, I don't imagine many people finding this useful. I don't think many people would wear it during the day. I think that's just me. 
but um, just shout out to Daisy and Maria and Bree and Morgan and um, Rachel just cuz I feel like shouting you guys out love my YouTube family and um, I'll check you guys later